and he's had a great season, and he beat Mahomes head-to-head. And at that moment, when he made the plays and Mahomes didn't head-to-head, he took the lead in the MVP race. It was really, you couldn't argue anyone other than Allen at that moment. There have been moments since then. Josh Allen, his team just lost to the Jets. Mahomes just won at home. Jalen Hurts continues to win. Tua is putting up huge numbers, actually leading the league in QBR. Mahomes right behind him right now. Oh, so you're saying Tua's in the conversation. Who, I just want to he's in the conversation. Okay, Who is the MVP at this moment? Is it after last night, Patrick Mahomes? Uh-huh. Yeah, it probably is Patrick Mahomes. Uh-uh. It probably is. No. I mean, Jalen Hurts is, is – when they come into the season – and the hype is around one guy and Josh Allen, and he continues to keep a, a, a steady Eddie, he's going to win it. But when he has some dips, and a guy like Patrick Mahomes on prime time takes it to the next level, you go, okay. A lot of what Jalen Hurts is riding on is going to hinge on what happens against the Dallas Cowboys. That is going to hint With his, Dak. With, with Dak, Dak, right. With Dak Prescott, what's going to happen – with the Cowboys, and then that'll shift. As far as Tua goes, too raw. <laughs> it's too raw for him. If numbers and everything, they're not going to – it's just too raw. He can't come out of nowhere any missed game. But he's doing it. Yeah, but he's missing, missing the game. He's missing the games put him a little the behind the eight ball, Jay. He had some momentum, but then when he missed the games, that momentum slowed the flip down. Of that. See, this is not about who's better. It's about who's MVP. If you're asking me who do I think is better – I would say that I think Patrick Mahomes is better. If you're asking about who is the MVP right now, I say it's Jalen Hurts. His team is undefeated the way he's been leading. And you can sit up here and say, well, uh, that play last night by Patrick Mahomes is incredible. And I get it. Like, he's right there, too. I have him number two. But that loss to the Colts, man, that hurts on the resume. I rather reward a team where the job is complete, regardless of who they played against. They've been knocking everybody down. Jalen Hurts is undefeated. The numbers are close. I would give it to Hurts. They're, actually, numbers aren't as close as you think, but let me just table that for one second. I want to get back to Tua for a second. Tua missed games. And normally I'd say, look, value, it, how do you have the same value if you miss those games? The only thing I'd say about Tua is the way he missed the game. Concussion, another concussion. Uh-oh, this guy's career could be in jeopardy. Then The fact that he comes back and still plays to me, he also gets a little extra credit for that. Yeah, he, he could get the credit for it, but it's about a momentum swing. His momentum was start was building, and if he would have continued, if he would have continued to play, they would have those L's on the resume. It was very clear when he came back what the Miami Dolphins turned into versus when he was gone. It's all about the momentum and the hype, and I think he lost some of that steam when he missed those games. So, so first of all, there's a. Who do we think is MVP versus who do we think is actually going to win MVP, right? I, I, let's let's talk about who we think is MVP. I want to bring up the QBR stat again for a reason, guys. It's No stat's perfect. It's a pretty good thumbnail sketch, though, right? A little quick shorthand. Listen to the top six guys in QBR and tell me if a single guy who should be in the MVP conversation is not represented. In order, Tua, Mahomes, Josh Allen, Geno Smith, Lamar Jackson, Jalen Hurts. Like, it correlates very well with the best players, with the best quarterbacks. By the way, Jalen Hurts has a 63 QBR, Jay. Patrick Mahomes, a 75 QBR. Okay. He's significantly, like, when the numbers say Mahomes is significantly outperforming yeah. Jalen okay, Hurts. Okay, but I don't only look at analytics. I mean, I look at the team factor, too, and leadership and that, those aspects of the game, too. They don't, but in this case, Jay, isn't it pretty obvious that one team plays really good defense and the other is always hopefully playing defense just well enough. I just don't come from this whole thing that you guys do about I have to Who are you di- guys? diminish somebody because their team might have a better on both sides of the ball. Like, that's what you just said. We're not diminishing, we're comparing. No, you just said that. Well, because his defense is better, like, all of a sudden it takes away from No, no, you're the the opposite. You're diminishing Mahomes because he doesn't have a better defense. I'm not diminishing Mahomes. I just have him number two. But comparing him to Jalen Hurts because Jalen Hurts undefeated. Here's two signature moments for both MVP candidates Mm -hmm. that that are happening right now. Josh Allen rolls into Kansas City, signature moment. Everybody's watching. He beats Kansas City. Last night, everybody's watching. Tennessee rolls in to Kansas City. Patrick Mahomes pulls one That's it. from underneath That's him. a signature Jay- moment against the Titans? Man, the Titans ran the ball. They did what they supposed to do. They I beat them last year, too. I just... But no, uh-uh. Yeah, what, what Titans, beat, no, Titans, Titans, Titans beat, beat Kansas City. Beat Kansas City down last Guess year. Guess what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Now, Jalen Hurts needs to have one of those signature moments. He's yet to have one. 
his will be against the Dallas Cowboys. That's why, no, I'm saying when Jay says, but that, that's not a signature moment. You're beating a t- you're, you're, you're Look, they had the number one record in the conference last year, and they beat the Chiefs. So yeah, it's a, a rematch. It's a revenge year. game. You know. Okay. Yeah, for this year. Right, that's without his... their starting quarterback. Without yeah, Ryan that, Tannehill. Th- sure. Ryan Tannehill. Ryan Hans. Come on, man. Stop. Okay. No, I mean, no, that's legit. That's I mean, look, they beat. What just, are you talking ju- about? Just like, just tra- like Jalen Hurts like has had a thousand Ryan snaps Tannehill. in the NFL. You know what if I mean? Ryan no. Tannehill was that quarterback. I'm gonna, not saying it wasn't a difficult game. It was a difficult game. But just, it they going to turn t- around with Ryan Tannehill and hand the ball to Derrick Henry. So you're right. telling me. They going to turn around with me and hand the ball to Derrick Henry. Malik Willis. Uh, not having the same amount of snaps is the same thing as Ryan Tannehill. Man, they, who it, is the MVP right thing. now in the NFL? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.